fun. Suzanne, thank you for bringing us that. And now let's check in with our next weather with Paul Deano. When is this rain going to let up just a little bit before the next round comes uh, in? Rain's letting up uh, later on this morning for all of us. Uh, Ventura County already, Inland Empire by lunchtime, scattered downpours this afternoon, next storm coming up on Sunday. That's your cliff notes. Uh, here's the details, and this is an important detail. Flash flood warning until 11:15. Palos Verdes, Long Beach, east to Seal Beach, Two inches of rain in the past three hours. This is an absolute bullseye for the heaviest rainfall right now. Look at these rainfall totals. Harbor City, just north and west of Long Beach, has received three and a half inches of rain just this morning. Redondo Beach, two and a half inches. Thousand Oaks, more than two. We're coming up on two inches of rain in Oxnard and Porter Ranch and Garden Grove, one inch of rain. We said widespread one to two inches of rain just this morning. Guess what? It is overperforming. The storm is in a few spots. Here's the flash flood warning until 1115. The heavy rain continues right now in and around Long Beach, north to Downey and then west to Inglewood. Uh, it continues to be very messy there. We are seeing uh, more activity building in and around San Bernardino, south to Riverside, Moreno Valley, Yucaipa. It is pouring and the blue you see it is snowing rather steadily up toward Wrightwood and also Big Bear. Here's a wide view west of Los Angeles. We've gone into scattered shower mode. Wouldn't be surprised if you even get a few peaks of sunshine uh, out to the west coming up soon. So the worst is over in Ventura County, L.A. County nine, now through 930, another 45 minutes or so. Orange County, you'll have to wait until 11 for things to calm down. Inland Empire until about lunchtime. The farther east you are, the longer the rain is going to last. Wind advisory behind the front. We'll see wind gusts today, 35 to 45 miles per hour. And the beach is not the place to go to the next couple days. High surf advisory continues through Saturday. A lot going on. Long Beach, it is still raining and 52 degrees outside. Here's an hour by hour look at the San Fernando Valley. Raining now through about 10. Then we're just going to be cloudy with some scattered showers at lunchtime, but the atmosphere is pretty charged up. It's pretty energized. So even behind this front, there will be some scattered downpours and even an isolated thunderstorm chance coming up later today. This is what it looked like at 8 o'clock in the morning. Here's what we think it will look like at around 1130 with heavy rain continuing in the Inland Empire and Southern Orange County as the front itself pushes to the east. Then we go in the scattered shower mode. What do I mean? A little bit of sunshine in a few spots, some downpours in a few spots. Isolated thunderstorms are possible. That continues throughout the afternoon, even into the evening. You could get a downpour. This is 830. Our computer's predicting a downpour moving over Long Beach again after sunset this evening. We will get about 48 hours between storms. Tomorrow looks mainly dry, blustery but dry. Saturday looks mainly dry, but look at where our rain for Sunday and beyond is coming from. Follow the rain from west of us, south of Hawaii. It is coming directly from the tropics. So wherever it hits, and we don't know exactly where the worst of the rain is going to be, but wherever it does hit, it is going to pour for perhaps a day or two. So think of the intensity of the rain outside your house this morning. That's how heavy it might rain for a couple of days. So we could be talking about several inches of rain early next week. We're soggy this morning. We get a break Friday and Saturday, even a good dose of sunshine, not warm but sunny. And then the rain returns Sunday into next week. That's your forecast. Traffic now with Kalina. Good morning. Hey, good morning. We have another incident that just popped up in LA. It is on the 170 right around Burbank Boulevard, and it is causing a backup, of course. So let's go over to the map this morning so you can see what I'm talking about exactly. This is northbound side of this 170 before Burbank Boulevard. Carpool two left lanes are blocked off. Typically we have traffic in the southbound direction, but this morning you'll see it in the northbound direction. I would say take the five, but we do have lots of traffic right around the 134 as well. Just look at all of the red out there and all of these squares. These are incidents in some capacity, whether it's a driver that lost control, a stalled car, something with lanes blocked off. We just have a lot going on in LA, Orange County and the Inland Empire. This is still here. This has been here for hours. Flooding reported on the 710 southbound right at PCH. All lanes are impacted southbound. This will take you almost two hours. It's an hour and 43 minutes between Imperial Highway and PCH. Take the 605. And then we also have the Sigler in effect eastbound 10 right at the McClure Tunnel. All of that red you're seeing here is because all lanes are shut down. Coming up, I'll take you out to the Inland Empire in Orange County. Ladies, back to you. Kalina, thank you. The time right now, 8.52 straight ahead. The new change to licenses causing controversy in Florida. Then at 9.15.